Once again, right round Australia, it's time for everyone's favourite game of alphabetical hide-and-seek. The game where every answer to every question is right before your eyes. So, let's join Mike and Melvin for another exciting episode of Now You See It! And now, here's the man with all the questions, the captain of the clues, Mike Mead! Well, hi, everybody. Hi, Mike! Hi, Melvin! Hi, Melvin! Welcome, Melvin. Welcome to a brilliant joke on Welcome, a day of champions. Michael. <laughs> it's a good joke, too. You got a good joke for us? Yeah, what's the best day to cook bacon and eggs? <laughs> I don't know. What's the best day to cook bacon and eggs? Friday. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a day of champions, despite that joke, and we have two champions to bring in. Who are they? Thanks, Gary. Tani Truskinger and Fiona Yao. Those 11. Tani likes netball, softball, guys in cooking. And Fiona, shot put, art, and listening to music. Welcome, ladies. Tanae is here. Two great champions here. Both these ladies, they're very good champions. Good sports and jolly good nice people all around. That about covers it, doesn't it, Tani? Ah, oh, she thinks so. Oh, yeah, yeah. We talked about guys last time. Why don't you tell us about your cooking? Um, well, I enjoy making biscuits and cakes and stuff. It's always the sweet things, isn't yeah. it? We like eating them, too. Have you got a favourite recipe? Oh, not really. Not like, really. Just well, anything that's sweet and messy to cook, I bet. Sweet and messy, like yeah. me. Good luck today on the show, Tani. And Fiona, we talked about art last time, if I remember rightly. But you're also a bit of a shot putter, are you? Yep. Now, this is an interesting one to get into, shot putting. How far can you put your shot? About nine metres. Nine metres? That's Whoa. pretty far. <laughs> Hope she hasn't got one over there because... Well, I she give doesn't want to toss me. Bad question. I might be in trouble over here. Good luck, ladies. On our day of champions, here comes your first clue. This is it. Name a famous Aussie chocolate frog. <laughs> yes, Tani. Fredo? Fredo's the one. Strange little clue to start off. Next clue. A fierce black dog known and used as a guard dog. Letter. Yes, Tani. Doberman? Doberman, that's Doberman. the one. Yes, Which royal prince is married? Yes, Fiona. Andrew. Andrew yeah, is married to Fergie. Which chess piece looks like a horse? Yes, Fiona. Knight. Knight is yeah. right. Two points apiece. A person who rents a house. Letter. Yes, Tani. Tenant. Tenant. Right. Found on a stag's head. Yes, Fiona. Antlers. Antler or antlers, yes. An old piece of clothing used. Yes, Fiona. Rag. Rag is right. Terrific game, this one. It's four to three at this point. A new clue. The highest mountain in the world. Yes, Tani. Everest. Everest is right. Four apiece. I can see some parents in our audience with our audience there, biting their nails and all that. Only one of the girls will win, but they both played very well. Both played like winners. OK, girls, eyes on the line. Here's the clue. What type of instrument is a guitar? Yes, Tani. String. String is the one. I'll tell you what, definitely a good championship game. They both went for the buzzer then. I saw them both go at the same time. Tani's just got in that little bit ahead. Well played, Fiona. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for being a great champion. And Tani has a main game to play a little bit later on. But in the meantime, we've got uh, Young nice. Morton. What an amazing <laughs> game that was. It was, it was. Yes. It's enough to make your head spin. No, no, I shouldn't have said no, that. No, no, I'm spinning around. Could we have our film, please? Oh, oh, you calm it down, down, calm it down, mate. Help. Uh, yes, uh, could you have our film, please? Yes, uh, please. Uh, Chat is up, up in that booty thing. <laughs> Thank you, yes. We're rolling it now. film. Movie fans, another masterpiece from my vast archives. Today, I know you'll be thrilled when I tell you that it's more fabulous footage from that small Victorian town, Bumpersville, where the local constable, Worthington Throttle, had an extremely hard time keeping the motoring population in check 
until one day when he was chasing the town's leading electronic scientist, Bobbington Duxbury, who was busy trying out a brand new invention. A portable hairdryer for ladies who were running terribly late for their next appointment. A fortuitous accident saw the transfer of the invention onto the constable's cranium, who immediately discovered another exciting use for Bumpy's clever creation. An exhilarating idea immediately struck him, not to mention an ambulance. This is perfect headwear for an undercover cop, you see. Undercover cop. Now, undercover police? Really, really, Morton, I don't. I don't know where he gets these ideas. I don't know what's... You blame me for jokes, you know? What about look, 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 look. What? What's it? It's a moth. Oh, I was hey, wondering where that goes This could explain quite a bit, actually. Oh. Poor little thing. I How long's that been in your brain there, Morton? A that breeze. was Morton's little movie. We'll be back shortly <laughs> with a joke from Melbourne and another line game on our day of chance. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. I hope that means you've got a good joke for us. Oh, it, it's a, an educational joke, actually. Oh, an educational joke. Yeah. Oh, jolly good. Which is the best educated of all the insects? I don't know. Which is the best educated of all the insects? A spelling bee. <laughs> well, I think you should buzz off, but first tell us who sent that joke in. Yeah, the boy with the sting, Russell Engman of Elizabeth West, South Australia. Thanks, Russell. You got yourself an AC T-shirt for that. And now, two more champs on a day of champion. Thanks, Gary. Scott Keane and Ryan Smith, both 11. Scott likes Lego, BMX, soccer, baseball and athletics, while Ryan likes Taekwondo and Meccano. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome, champions. Scott, remember, joined us from our uh, special twin show, and he was into Lego, and that's uh, constructing things, of course, but you're also into lots of sports. What's your favourite athletic or sporting type thing to do? Soccer. Soccer. He's a soccer man. And you do athletics too? Yes. What do you like doing in athletics? Long jump, high jump and 100 metres. I thought he was going to say a 100 metre jump too. That's a biggie. <laughs> Lots of jumping. Well, you jump right into this game in a minute, Scott. Good luck to you. And Ryan, you're into Meccano. Yes? Yes. Yes? <laughs> what do you like making? About it for a while. Yeah, I had me worried for a moment. They thought we sprung something on him. <laughs> what sort of things do you make with your Meccano? Um, mainly robots. You can let the mic the go, actually, and uh, tell us. <laughs> mainly what? Robots, because they're the easiest, and sometimes cars. What do you robots mean, are the robots easiest the because easiest. they're very <laughs> simple things. <laughs> I, think we're, I think we're on to a game now. Good luck, gentlemen. <laughs> Here comes your line game before we get into too much trouble there. First clue is. Which Australian animal appears on the 20 cent coin? Yes, Ryan. The platypus. Platypus is correct. Yeah, that is it. <laughs> Next clue. Someone who shows you to your seat at the movies or in a theatre. Yes, Ryan. Usher. Usher is right. Yeah. Usher again. This is often found at the end of a pencil. Yes, Scott. Mm. Not going for it. Yes, Ryan, you have a free shot. Rubber. Rubber, you didn't need the next letter, yes. Oh, good. OK, we go on to a new line. The clue is, the name of Fred Flintstone's wife. Yes, Scott. Wilma. Wilma, yeah. <laughs> next clue. This soup is full of letters. Letter. 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 Yes, Scott. Alphabet? Alphabet, sir. You bet your alphabet. On we go. A ballroom dance from South America. Letter. Letter. And another letter. Second last letter, Ryan. Tango. Tango yeah, is right. New clue. Huckleberry, friend, Huckleberry Finn's friend, Jim, was one. Not easy to say. Huckleberry Finn's friend, Jim, was one. Letter. 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 And letter. Second last letter. Yes, Scott. Slave. He was a slave. Next clue. What do we call a person who has served for a long time in the army? Yes, Ryan. Veteran. Veteran is... Yeah. And they're shaking hands 
They're good champs. Well played, both of you. Thanks for both of you being here. Good champs they are. They're both into constructing things, by the way. One does it with Lego, one does it with Meccano. And they both took care of those lines. Actually, didn't just construct them, but demolished them. Well played, both of you. Ryan's having a sip of water because he's got to play a main game in just a moment. Wasn't that nice to write that about me? Uh, now, wasn't about you. Nice. It was, uh, Thanks, could have been. Tina. Tina Turner, who could be the best herself, actually. She's pretty good. And that's a great song. And, of course, there's a clue in all of that in our main game. So come back and have a look and see if you can pick it out. Back on our day of champions, yep. our two champs are over there having a little chat. They're probably working out their own strategy over there. Yes, they're ready to play, but before they play, we might have a little joke from Melbourne just to sort of relax us before this. This is our day of champions. We oh. not like to be relaxed, you even those at home. Incredibly relaxed. Yeah. At the moment. You've got a good joke. I bet I got a joke you've right. never ever heard. Really? Bet you, bet you, bet you never heard. It. <laughs> like your chances, but yeah, go on. What's an army? I don't know. What's an army? See, I knew you hadn't heard it. <laughs> An army's that thingy up your sleeve. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know that, Melvin, sometimes I actually know some of these answers, but I don't actually let on because I don't want to hurt your feelings. Oh, you do not, do not, do not. <laughs> but Tani and Ryan probably knew that one. I'm sure they did. Big champs over there. Good luck to you both. We've lit up our big board because we're about to play our main game on our day of champions. I'll give you the clues. You give me the answers. First clue is this Tina... Oh, Tani's already spotted it, yes, and she knew our... Yes? Line four, Correct. position one, Turner. Turner, right. Turner, She took note of our film clip. Look at your monitor for this one. The land of... Yes, Ryan. Line three, Correct. position seven, Egypt. Egypt is the land of pyramids. Look at our monitor here. Jughead's best friend in the comics. Yes, Tani. Line three. Correct. Position two, Archie. Archie, all right. Ten points each, and we'll have a question from Adam. Hi, my name is Adam. This is my question. What is the opposite of yes? The opposite of yes. Yes, Tani. Line two. Correct. Position 12, no. No, right. Look at the monitor for this one. The day we remember those who... Yes, Tani. Line one. Correct. Position eight, Anzac. Anzac is the day. Remember those who fought at Gallipoli. Look at your monitor for this. What? Uh, yes, Ryan. Line two, position Correct. nine. Lennon. Lennon it is. Two Lennons in that question. I wonder who did these questions, Michael. Look at the monitor for this one. Marty McFly's time machine in Back to the Future movies. Well, it was simply line three, position one, a car. A DeLorean, to be exact. And let's have a question from Barry. Hi, my name is Barry. My question is, who followed Ronald Reagan as the president of the USA? Bonzo the Chimp. Well, it was line one, position one, Bush. Oh, president close. Bush. Look at the monitor for this. One of the Cape Crusaders, yes, Ryan. Line four, position Correct. six, Robin. Robin is right. <laughs> Looking at the, mon the monitor again, this unusual man is, uh, yes, Ryan. Line one, position Correct. four, Herman. It is Herman Munster, right? I always wondered what you looked like before the makeup, mate. Thank you very much. Look at the monitor for this. Name the area in golf where play begins at each hole. Yes, Tani. Line three. Correct. Position 11, T. T he he, right. <laughs> Worth a laugh. One of these a day keeps the doctor away. Yes, Ryan. Line two. Correct. Position six, Apple. Apple is right. A very close game, this one. Name the famous TV wombat living with a country town policeman. Yes, Tani. Line two. Correct. Position one, Fatso. Fatso is right. Which Swiss family was stranded on an island? Yes, Tani. Line four. Correct. Position six, Robinson. Robinson, right. Robinson. This term is used for people between the ages of... Tw yes, right. Line three, position Correct. 11, team. Right. Oh, Very close, guys. Okay. This cruel emperor played a fiddle whilst Rome burned. 
Yes, Ryan. Line one, position No, I'm sorry, it's not line one. He's having a good go there. Any idea, Tony? No, well, it was a long time ago. It was line four, position four, Nero. Yeah, you were just a kid, weren't I you? was. Next clue. You use this to wash your hands. Yes, Ryan. Line two, position Correct. four, soap. Soap, and the lead changes again. A nagging pain. Yes, Tony. Line one. Correct. Position 11, eight. Eight, all right, the lead changes again. What you sing. Yes, Tony. Line four. Correct. Position 11, song. You sing a song, all right. A form of public transport. Yes, Tony. Line one. Correct. Position one, bus. A bus is? A brick or stone structure that holds up a bridge. That was line three, position two, arch. A small vase. That was line four, position two, urn. To steal. Time just beat you there on that one, Tony. It was line four, position six, Rob. Next clue, Jack Spratt would eat no what? Yes, Ryan. Line two, position correct. one, fat. Fat is fat. correct indeed. And there's a time up. Tony just managed to stay in the lead there. Oh, she didn't know. She, oh, breathing a sigh of relief. That was a good game, of course, on our day of champions. They're looking to see what their scores were. It doesn't matter. The points are according to where the answer lies. So there's a bit of luck in that one. But you swapped the lead around all the way along until Tony got a couple of big pointed ones at the end and finished up our winner. But thanks very much, Ryan. You're a good champ and good to have you on the show with us. And you'll be taking home some terrific things of course on our show because everyone who's played on a normal show takes home some terrific prizes and Ryan did that but Tani you have a solo game to play on our day of champions playing a game that's been sent in from some school so we'll see if it's a hard one or an easy one we'll see in just a moment on our day of champions see you in a moment and Tani's our champ of course on our day of champions ready to do a solo game. I'll just remind you, as Gary said, please, when you're sending in a joke, don't forget your photo and all that, because we've had lots and lots and lots and lots of jokes. Just but lots. A, <laughs> yeah, but a few of them, people have forgotten to send in their photographs. And we like to show you when we read your joke. And some send in their photos and your address. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. And your address, of course, because we won't know where to send the T-shirt otherwise. And another thing that you can do to become involved in the show, because we know you like to play along with the games, where you can become directly involved is by doing this. And that's sending in a game for our solo game on our Day of Champions, as the kids from Richland's State School have done. And there's actually grades four, five and six have got together to send this game in. Whew, that's quite an effort. There might be a hard game here, uh, Tony. And then again, it might not be. But you're playing for your school, which is Miami State. So one lucky school is going to win the great Sony prize in just a moment. Don't forget, if you want to send a game in, please do so. Right, we'll get to your game now after all of that. And this is the solo game, seven clues, and you have one entire minute to answer them. Tell me what those answers are and circle them. And your time starts from the end of my first question. Good luck. Good luck. Yes, here we go. To travel secretly without pain. Still away. Correct. To chatter about other people. Gossip. Correct. To give permission. Permit. Correct. A time for chocolate eggs. Easter. Correct. A wild Australian dog. Pass. A chemical that eats metal. Acid. Correct. A feeling of having done wrong. Guilt. Correct. A wild Australian dog. Dingo. Correct, yes. correct, correct. Yes. Well done. Good on you. Yes, she did very oh, well. And she said, oh, I didn't expect to get this far, and she's got that far, and she's all, got all seven. And thanks to grades four, five, and six from Richmond State School, maybe grades uh, three and seven should have joined in as well. But good effort. And, of course, Miami State, which is your school, I'm feeling very happy now because you've won for them that great prize sitting behind us from Sony, the one and only, which is that music centre. A wonderful prize, and you could win it for your school if you send in a game, but Miami State have won it. It features a CD player, 
A semi-automatic belt drive turntable, double cassette deck with Dolby, five band graphic equaliser, three band AM FM radio with 30 station preset, three way speakers, and that's all from our friend Sony, the one and only, a terrific prize. If you're wondering where the other speaker is, it's on the shelf at the top. There are actually two speakers, of course. Yeah. And for you, Oh, but this is great. It leans down because this is a beaut prize here. Another great prize from Sony. It's a double cassette deck and radio and all that sort of stuff in that one. That's a great little prize for you. Well, not a little prize. It's just a bit little than that one. So, well done. And she had 30 seconds left. I think we should have tested it by giving her another lot of questions. Well, that's another championship show done and a good one it was. Great prizes gone to everybody, of course. So don't forget to send things in if you've got them for us. And if you haven't, just enjoy watching the show. That's a good idea. Melvin, you've got this moth on your head now. How does it get around when it this isn't even alive? Yes, we'll have to watch that. Thanks again, Tony. Yeah. Good champion she was. That's another week of champions, and we'll see you next time we play Now You See It for an ordinary game, and we'll pick up some more they're champs. They're ordinary. Oh, they're extraordinary. See you next time. Bye for now. Bye bye. Now You See It is produced in association with Mark Goodson by Fremantle International Productions.